Rodriguez has now resigned from his position as the City of Yuma Administrator, effective January 22nd of 2022. 13 on your side's Arlette Youssef has audio from one of the many 911 calls made after the hit and run Rodriguez is accused of, along with an exclusive interview with the former Border Patrol agent who was the second driver in the incident on that day. That's right, the Yuma City Administrator is accused of being the aggressor in a collision that occurred back in June of this year. Monday, he faced a judge and the alleged victim. The guy that hit women showed up out of nowhere in the parking lot and started harassing me. A frazzled driver's 911 call after he says he was almost pushed off the highway by City Administrator Phil Rodriguez. The reason? Still unknown. He started to swerve into my lane, gesturing at me and eventually impacting my vehicle. At that point, I was in kind of disbelief as to what this person was doing because it was intentional what was going on there because it, he was dodging into my lane as if trying to force me off the roadway. Dashcam footage shows what happened on Interstate 8 heading west on the morning of June 3rd. Here you can see the dark gray forerunner getting extremely close to Marzik's van. Contact between the two vehicles is made before the forerunner takes off. Why would somebody be doing this to me? I'm going down the road in the slow lane. Marzik, a retired Border Patrol agent of 23 years based out of San Diego, who also assisted the Yuma sector, says he was surprised to see Rodriguez after exiting the freeway. Then when he next in, uh, encountered me at the Days Inn, he was angrily yelling at me and gesturing and as if challenging me to exit my vehicle. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Marzik says there were a total of four encounters over several hours and another traffic infraction after leaving the day's in. He proceeded up to the intersection of 16th and Sun Ridge. I pulled in behind him. I was on the, on the phone with dispatch and I was wanted to give them the exact license plate number. He looked in his mirror, he saw me, and then he ran the red light and proceeded west on 16th. A plea agreement is in the works between the district attorney's office and Rodriguez's Phoenix area council. But the new judge on the case says he wants more information before making a decision. Judge Juan Guerrero also took time during the hearing to listen to Marzik explain his side of the incident. I did some review over the weekend. There's some concerns and some issues I have with this plea agreement. Judge Guerrero says he thinks the plea agreement should include some money for the second driver if he is officially recognized as a victim by the court. In a statement read by Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols, the resignation is not reflective of his guilt or innocence, and they have full faith in the justice system to render a decision that is true and fair. Rodriguez will be back in court next month. We should know then if the plea agreement is accepted. Reporting in Yuma, Arlette Youssef, 13 on your side.